Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Retro Pixel Castles, episode seven for the series. Last time we left off, oh, yay, Tony, Tony Todd has joined the village. <laughs> Last time we left off, we had almost lost the village. It was looking pretty rough there, and I have a uh, pretty bad feeling that if we don't hurry up and push to get towers up, we will lose the, uh, the village during the next uh, big monster attack. So we do need to start really putting some effort in now. Only things being built right now is the kitchen, the mining facility, and this tower down here. I'm going to go ahead and bump this tower to the top. Even though the mining facility is pretty important, the tower is uh, even more important because without defense, we won't even make another night. Now I see that there's lots of ammo here, but I would really like to see these towers get ammo. I don't see that being a thing just yet, but hopefully soon. Lots of rocks coming down though to finish this tower as people mine away. I have other areas here designated for mining, but it doesn't seem like they're really doing it. And then this wooded area here. Um, not really getting dealt with that much either. But there we go. Uh, we're working on the towers. What do I got here? Fire elemental. Before he destroys that, let's go ahead and get him finished up. Let's see, are they going to get him? Almost. I think we can finish him off. There we go. And food starting to become an issue again. Let's go ahead and motivate the land. Got lots of planks, lots of wood being stored. I don't know why that wood. I feel like the villagers don't do a very good job of getting things accomplished, to be honest with you. It just doesn't seem like they do a very good job. I guess they're all right. I do finally got ammo into both of these towers. That's a... Uh, that's a plus, but here we go. Here comes the nighttime, which means uh, I don't think we're going to make it. The monsters are going to be restless. They're going to come straight for me. They're getting faster. They're getting more powerful. This tower is already about to fall. I'm going to have to use the grabbing function, but I'm not even sure how long I can make that last for. It just really depends how much essence I can get. I'd like to see them work on fixing this. Thank you. Thank God. They are getting that repaired. Okay, that's good. So far, we're staying under the radar. Let's try to keep it that way. Try not to get attacked like we did that one night. Oh, great, especially because this tower doesn't even have ammo, and this one's about to run out. It's only a matter of time before my grab feature runs out too. Okay, that zombie's pretty weak. We'll let him come in. If just for the sake of we'll get that essence. So I know we can fight him off. Great, almost got this one built. Oh, still no ammo. Lots of ammo in these two towers, though. Um, That skeleton's almost dead, so I'm not going to worry about it. Here comes a bunch of headless, but they're super weak. So we're not going to worry about dealing with them. And since this skeleton ran into the village, we'll let him stay. I got to save my essence for only super important moments. Like if really strong zombies come trying to kick the door in. But these headless are so easy to deal with. I'm not too concerned. Okay, here we go though. Okay, we've got some much stronger units coming in now. Just go ahead and deal with these two. 
Gonna let the headless come waltzing in, as well as these zombies. They're pretty weak. So as long as these villagers take uh, keep on top of taking them out, we shouldn't have an issue. It's a pretty weak skeleton, so we'll let him chill. I'll actually take this zombie here and drop him off since... Oh, that skeleton was actually not that weak. I should have left him. That zombie is powerful. Or not that weak, I meant not that strong is what I meant. Get rid of the slime just for the sake of... Okay, here comes a lot of headless, so get ready. I think we're going to be okay. Boyer now coming to put some ammo. I wish he put ammo in this tower. I Pretty upsetting that he's chosen to do it in the other tower, but... I don't really get an, uh, that much of an option over the villagers. Alright, and villager has grown up. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a... Another builder would actually be useful. Go through and collect all this essence. So it looks like we're going to make this night. Maybe. Oh boy. Here they come. Um, just... Oops. Actually, yes. I didn't realize I could grab the resources and move them. Oh boy, here they come. I almost might use the fireball. A blast. I'll probably kill my own, but at the same time, I feel like I'll kill a lot of these with it. Oh boy, that reeked in my walls pretty badly, but it did kill a lot of them. Oh man, here they come. We're prepared though. I'm going to pull the skeletons out. They're the strongest. Fire elementals as well can go. The headless though, we can deal with the headless. Lots of skeletons up here though. For every skeleton I pull out, it increases my chance of survival. Oh boy. Okay, these zombies are pretty powerful. We gotta ditch them. If anything, just for the fact of saving. I think that zombie will be able to be dealt with. If we see him really destroying the tower, we'll knock him down. Yeah, we're going to pull him out. But we did make it till daytime. Doesn't mean it's necessarily over yet. I still got people trying to bum rush the walls. I accidentally moved that stone out. Wow, there's a lot of bodies nearby. Oh, our villagers doing really well though. You can see they fought off all these headless. All right, but Corian Brown didn't make it unfortunately, so that puts us back down a builder. Okay, I was just about to save this villager, but it looks like he's gonna looks like he's gonna survive. Can we kill the zombie or not? Looks like you guys got it, or the skeleton that is. Well. I really like to see this tower get finished. I see we're out of ammo again. Give me some ammo. We're hurting right now. We're hurting. Give me the skeleton too. Holy crap. At least we kept our towers alive this time. That was what killed us every other time was the towers going away. Killed by a zombie. We got this guy or not? Yep. Uh, fire elemental, I think we got him, so we're good there. Some armor on the ground. Okay, just slimes coming in now. One more zombie getting finished up. Looks like we're going to make it. Let's go ahead and put this tower to the top here so we can get it finished up. And then food is an issue we need to deal with again. And can we please get some more rock harvested? Can we keep everybody busy? That would be fantastic. And then get some of this harvested.
All right, farmers, let's get rid of one. All right, this tower's almost finished. That skeleton's a little stronger than I'd like. I was a strong zombie. I'll have to get an essence collector at some point. That would be nice. If I may even make it that long. Just needless to say, it's looking pretty grim. Essence all over the place, though. Lots of slimes. Oh my goodness. Easy essence though. Easy essence. That's how I got to look at it. Easy essence. Okay. Food's doing all right. Towers close to being built. Look at all the slimes coming in though. How's it? Do I not have ammo for either of these towers, but I've got extra ammo in this one. There we go. Do me so good to help take out these slimes. Because the villagers, even though they can do it all on their own, um, they have better things to do than fight slimes all day. That's why I would really like to see... The Fletchers hurry up and start making some ammo. Look how busy everybody is. Everybody's so busy fighting off. All right. I wanted to look at other towers here, but I don't know. Let's see. Firebolt. Ling Tower. A heavy tower that shoots round stone balls that are produced at the rock tumbler. Good for mid-early defenses built down a tight path. Yeah, we can get one of these. What else do we got? Tall tower that uses energy to shoot deadly fire bolts at attackers. Requires an essence collector to run. Okay, I don't have an essence collector. Stone golem. A host building that consumes nearby rock to create and maintain defensive stone golems that will protect the village. It's not a bad idea. Putting it like right in this area. Or right up here. Um, really up here would be a good spot. Because this is where they keep feeding into. So um, This would be a pretty good area to have it. What's it take? Just a lot of stone and crystals. Which I've got plenty of crystals. Should be stored up. Somewhere. One of these buildings has a ton of crystals. There's no way I used them all. Looks like they're in here, most of them. Look at all the slimes. Oh, stay busy, boyer. Stay busy. It is important that you stay busy. Which means, I, you know what that means? It means I need more lumberjacks. But 
but I'll say it again. It just really, it just sometimes it just feels like nobody's, nobody's actually cutting any wood or mining any stone. I just feel like it's like sitting empty all the time. Most villagers just do whatever they're doing up here, which is like walk around in circles. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's just how it goes. They are still trying to get this done. Any other buildings I can maybe deconstruct for material if I need to? Yep, I can get rid of another tent. All right, get rid of another tent because there's plenty of room inside these, inside these small shacks. So if I get rid of the tent, that'll give me more wood, which I then can turn around and use. Hopefully for ammo, which there we go. Somebody's, ah, we got our other tower up. Good. And it's equipped now. The other two towers are not, but that is all right. They'll get there. We're just dealing with slimes right now. I'm not too concerned about slimes. There we go, finally getting some stone mined. Which I imagine they're mining it for this here. And I'd love to get the stone golem uh, combobulator done. I think that would make a big difference. But we also need to consider what we're going to go for next. There's the bullet tower, a lightweight tower that shoots large volumes of low damage. Inaccurate bullets, good early crowd control. Eh. I think the firebolt tower and the sling tower are going to be pretty important. Rock tumbler. So that's probably on our manufacturing. Yes, a tumbler. Uh, takes just wood and stone. And then stone will make tumblers. Okay, so that's something we need to make. I'm not going to do it now because I've got buildings that still need to be constructed. So I'm going to let those buildings get constructed before I start doing the stone tumbler. Uh, stone golem compopulator is pretty important. I'm going to go ahead and let that be a thing. But the boyer is putting ammo inside of my towers. Uh, so that's pretty important. Especially because we're getting like bomb rushed by slimes right now. Go ahead and keep motivating the land so I can keep food coming in. The farms seem to be keeping up a little bit more now that a lot of people have died. But I still want to keep that food going so I don't lose anybody else to starvation anymore. I might um, build another farm at some point too, but as of right now, because of because of how I sit with material and the fact that I'm waiting for buildings to be constructed, I'm not going to do that yet. I'd also like to start getting my villagers equipped with armor and weapons as well, but... Again, that's going to take material that I don't have, so I'm not going to force it. Don't run too far, buddy. It's a good way to end up dead. At least the towers are finally firing, especially because they're getting ammo. Oh, it makes me so happy. Love to see a firebolt tower. Again, though, we're going to wait for the stone golem combobulator. How's this doing? Pretty good. Oh boy, would it be nice to see the wall get completed too. Already just having the small wall has made a huge difference. It's actually made a substantially large difference. There you go. Keep those arrows coming. Awesome. Awesome. Careful. Drifting a little close now, don't you think, guys? 
Not gonna put up with you guys, I'll tell you that right now. I wonder if I can find a better place for to drop these guys. If I drop them like up in here, they still head to get out, but it takes them a little bit longer. A lot of people standing around, but this is almost done. 34 wood logs is a lot though. But I do got people harvesting wood. I'd like to see them do it over here. But you can't always have your way, I guess. Crap. Well, here comes the night. Let's see how we do. How much ammo do I got? 10 out of 20. Not a lot, but I've got a lot of essence. I'm going to go ahead and get an early start on dropping monsters out. And collecting the essence. We'll let the slime go, though. Are we getting more ammo made? Because I need more ammo in my towers. Might pull ammo out of one of these towers if... Oh, only eight rounds, huh? Okay. Well, we do got an arrow bundle in storage, though, so somebody should be grabbing that soon. Here they come. Stone golem combobulator would have been nice to have. As usual, I'm going to have to be without it. I do not want this to get destroyed, so I'm going to do everything I can to try to protect it. Nice little battle breaking out down here. Definitely go ahead and move that to the top. Our defenses are severely lacking at this point in the game. I'd really like to know where that bundle of arrows went. Must have been one of these towers. Nope. Okay. Oh, he just made one. Okay, he's bringing it down. Guy burned to death. All right, fair enough. People are going to die. That's a thing. That's going to happen. Best I could do is just try to pull out the more intimidating monsters, mainly the skeletons. They always seem to have the most health and be the most dangerous. Zombies aren't too uh, too safe either. And there goes the tower because I wasn't paying attention. Oh boy. Cannot afford to lose another tower. Couldn't really afford to lose that one, but uh, these things happen from time to time. Oh, boy. Wow, these monsters are getting a lot more powerful. Come on, get out of here. Killed by a skeleton. I don't know. This time I'm getting assaulted by where before it was like large waves of headless so I could, for the most part, destroy them. Now it's like large waves of skeletons and zombies. I just can't afford it. Please, put some ammo in these towers. I'm letting the headless one ramp it because they don't seem to be the issue. Okay, I'm going to start dropping them over here because, frankly, it's a quicker drop. And they've got much longer walk to get around to me, especially since they don't. Especially because they don't seem to break down that wall there. Do not want them destroying this. I cannot have that happen. Oh, they did it. Oh, boy. I can't even... I'm trying to grab these guys, but... It's turning into a mess. The headless I'm going to leave alone. I just need to get the skeletons out of here. You guys can keep fighting the headless. I have... Full faith and confidence that they can take them out. There goes my essence. Why am I not getting ammo? I've got two logs in there. No ammo coming out. And where is the other villagers? Okay, people slowly dying. We're almost out of villagers. Here goes another one. Here comes a big wave. This is it. This is going to be it. I have no influence. This is it. Last stand over here. We're watching it take place right now, mainly because I didn't have... Uh, I didn't do a very good job of getting defenses up. Although I'm a little frustrated with how the... 
I'm a little frustrated with how the villagers uh, reacted. They just, I felt like I could never get, a, I never could get ahead of it. I felt like the villagers just consistently were not getting the resources needed to build these buildings. They weren't making arrows when I needed them to. And uh, frankly, I'm just not very good at the game, clearly. But I think we did an all right job. Just grabbing the last skeletons here. But it's pretty obvious it's over. As people slowly get eaten by zombies and burned to death. Uh, mainly at this point you can tell it's over because everybody's running. Nobody's even fighting anymore. But here comes Autumn. Well, we did make it to day 10, so that's not bad. How many villagers do I have now? Still a pretty healthy village. What an embarrassing thing to write on a tombstone, yeah, because the headless are so weak. <laughs> Killed by a headless. Boy, it really would have changed the game if I could have gotten ammo in these towers. Um, what ultimately actually was the death of me was probably not putting more emphasis on defense. I didn't build a lot of defense. Heat exhaustion, come on. We're in the middle of a battle right now. You die of heat exhaustion. How many do I got left? Very little amount. Look at the battle up here taking place. I don't even know who's who right now. I can't even pay attention. Get these headless off my tower. There's so many of them. There. All right. Uh, to death. Still a handful of people alive. It's probably about 10. Probably about nine. <laughs> I'm just kind of letting it run through at this point. I'm still collecting the essence. Funny enough, it looks like we're still alive, just barely. I'm going to keep playing it out, even though I, um, this is pretty much the end of us. Um, but you know what? I'm going to leave it off with a little bit of cliffhanger here. So yeah, we've got about probably like six or seven people left, not even remotely enough to uh, keep us alive uh, one more attack like that and we'll be done but you know what I'm going to play it out uh, another episode or so and just uh, see what we can do who knows maybe we bounce back it's hard to say but I think it's pretty much over but um, since we did we did have some villagers survive the assault uh, we'll continue on so thank you guys for joining me I do hope that you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you next time